All right, so a standard pin and tumbler lock is pretty simple as it only has a few parts. You have your spring up here, which is gonna push down against two pins. Your driver pin, which is on top, right next, touching the spring, and your key pin. And the way your lock works or stays shut is that your driver pin, the one on top touching the spring, is being pushed down into the core, into the little holes. And when that happens, it's not able to turn. It's gonna be in locked position. But when you have your key, it's gonna push up all those key pins up to the top of the shear line. This way, the driver pins are no longer in the core and it is free to turn which is how your lock opens.